let me start by showing you this piece of paper. Uh, this is a single sheet of graphics duo shade board, and uh, this is the stuff we used to use for the uh, first uh, series of comics that we did. Um, it's a really cool thing. It uh, has pre-printed in it. It's very faintly seen uh, crosshatch lines. The, there's one set of lines that goes this way, then another one that goes this way. And the, the thing about it is you, you use these, uh, these two different chemicals to uh, brush on or, or use uh, any kind of tool you really to apply it. And they cause those uh, patterns to develop to the point where they can be photographically reproduced. And back when we started the Turtle comic, Kevin and I were very poor and we had to make as much use out of each sheet as we possibly could. And the, the, this folder right here has the originals from issue four of the, of the first series of comics. And you can see by the size of these, this is the first page. We were able to get roughly three pages out of each sheet of duo shade. Actually, with a, with a little bit left over that we use to like do small illustrations with. And I will do a drawing, starting with a pencil. And I'll draw my favorite turtle, which is uh, Donatello. Because part, I mean, turtles or anything else, you know, one of the great things about drawing is you start with a blank piece of paper and you end up with something, you know, that didn't exist before. And, and it just sort of emerges out of that sort of void of, of the paper in, a, in an almost magical way. Um, and that's always been a, been a really great pleasure for me. Another cool thing about the, the duo shade, at that time that we, we did it, um, that we did those first books, it was not a technique that was being used very much. For the first, I think, probably about the first 10 issues, it was almost all either brush and ink like this or pen and ink, you know, dipping pens and ink. And occasionally, like for some like robots or, or stuff like that, we would use um, Statler Mars uh, rapidograph pens. If you made a mistake in the inking and you had to white it out, that spot where you had whited it out was no longer really duo shade because the, the white out would cover up the tone pattern. So when you went over it with tones, there'd be a, a big blob there where, you're, where you had whited it out. And so we learned fairly quickly that you had to be very careful in the inking. And this is the magic part. Uh, I, I always love the way this, this works. You just put your uh, brush in there and you can start going. And as you can see, almost immediately that develops the tone. It is a great way to get gray tones with essentially just black and white art.